and the sock. Who's, who's this? It's Craig and Lucky from 94.9 The Rock. How are you, sir? Oh, Craig, Craig Venn? Yes, sir. Craig, you know I like my gardening done on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> How well, many times do I have to tell you? Ed, it's a real treat to uh, to hear your voice. It's been a long time. The last time I saw Ed right. was, uh, it's got to be maybe 15, 20 years ago, Hard Rock Cafe, Ed filled the place like a rock star. Really? Like, I couldn't believe the amount of, of uh, women, uh, men, uh, young and old, all lining up to see Ed. I mean, that's the life he has led. I don't even remember that. Oh, uh, maybe <laughs> I'm making... I think you just made that whole thing up, thinking that because it blew smoke up my ass, I would go along with your bowl. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I did. Maybe I had you confused with another sock. Well, I remember Ed as well. I mean, uh, the fromage stuff was always great. Waited for that, the best of the year kind of bits that he did before. And then there was always the, the hot tub late night party with a bunch of girls. Oh, yes. Everyone remembers the, uh, the late night party. Uh, especially the guys who got into the hot tub, because they still have the rash. Ed, what have you been up to? I, I understand there's rumors that you're making a you're making a return to television. Is this true? Well, not television, because television in Canada is dead. It's not even The Walking Dead. Imagine if The Walking Dead was walking and, and body parts were just falling off them. That's Canadian TV, and it smells about that good. Uh, no, I, I went away to uh, for a while to to write my memoirs. Okay. And look at what you guys have done to the place. <laughs> I come back and I look. It's like the, the, the morning after a, a frat party in an 80s teen movie. You got <laughs> opinion is fact, and fact is opinion. Right. And, and people walk around with man buns. Like, what have you done? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I left this place. You know, neo Nazis don't even take the time to personally craft their own torches anymore. <laughs> What is wrong here? So Ed the needs to... Social media is like a hydra. Cut off one a-hole and two more take its place. <laughs> so the world's gone crazy. And so, yes, I must return, because apparently nobody else has been up to the challenge of calling BS. Right. So here I come, out of my retirement from my home, Angry La, and um, I will be back. I'm, I guess I shouldn't give too much away, but for those who miss uh, much music and miss fromage, You'll be very happy with an announcement I'll be making very, very shortly. Well, this is going to be excellent to have Ed back because uh, Lucky's right. I mean, watching all those shows and so many of us uh, through the 90s uh, growing up with Ed. And and so perhaps, I mean, it's great that we just got you on the phone as it is. Once you do your launch, once it's all out in the public, maybe you could join us on a regular basis. We'd love to have you as a part of Rock Mornings if that's possible. Uh, okay, what, does that mean I get a discount on the gardening? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we can work something out. I just wish you'd stop asking me to wear my thong when I'm over there cutting the grass. Well, you misunderstood. <laughs> I asked you not to wear your thong. All right. I'm I sorry. asked you to wear a burqa. That <laughs> makes more sense. So, uh, any any thoughts? Let's just maybe uh, throw some stuff around here quickly with the uh, with the June election not far off. Who you think is going to take this? Are we going to be swinging red, blue, or orange? Um, I think we'll be swinging no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> and not in a good way. News, it's like, uh, it's, it, are you familiar with Star Trek? Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan? Right. This isn't an election, it's the Kobayashi Maru. It's a situation where there's no winning. <laughs> it doesn't matter who wins, nobody wins. I can't, you got Win, who's less popular than Cosby Show reruns. <laughs> but... And Andrea Horvath, who has spent years in the political friend zone, and then we've got Ford, who's Trump the home game. Right. <laughs> How the hell are we supposed to choose somebody we're happy with here? It just doesn't make any sense. This is what happens when I go away for a while. Right. People's expectations just drop. The smart people get drowned out by the loud, stupid people, and so I've got to come back and be that voice for smart people like Lucky. Well, thank you, Ed. I appreciate that. And and but you mentioned Trump south of the border. Boy, things have taken a turn since you've been gone. Well, yeah. Is it a turn or just a fall? Like <laughs> the U.S. was like you know Wiley e. Coyote when he ran off the cliff. Yeah. And then he noticed that he was off the cliff, and then he fell. Right. <laughs> that was like America. He was running off the cliff, 
They elected Trump, looked down and realized what they'd done. <laughs> and kaboom. Uh, and this is the stuff that we're looking forward to, not only in whatever format you're going to find yourself on, but if you'd be willing, yes, we'll cut a deal for the landscaping. I'll do that. You join us on Rock Mornings. You got a deal? That sounds like a deal. And don't turn lawn mowing into landscaping. Don't try to make it sound more fancy. <laughs> All right, Ed, this has been a real treat hearing your voice once again. We look forward to doing this with you on a semi-regular, well, I don't know, kind of basis. All right, don't forget you can follow me at Twitter, on Twitter, at Ed the Sock. Beautiful, Ed. Thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, I'm going back to bed. <laughs>